passo sfiorava l'arena. Water fire. The very word surprises. An unlikely marriage of opposites that takes on a life of its own. One that pulsates with energy, then flickers and swirls into the imagination. It's probably one of the most incredible experiences I've ever had in my life. It's definitely something different. We have not, not seen, uh, seen bonfire on the river before. In one short season, water fire draws more than a million people. More than half are from out of state and a growing number from other countries. I know that people travel down from Canada to see this and, and uh, for hundreds of miles. And I think there is, is uh, an appeal in, in uh, this sort of transformative quality of a very, very simple ritual. There are no box seats. There are no uh, sky boxes. There are no luxury. There's nowhere you can't go. You want to sit at the best seat on the river, just get there early enough and the best seat on the river is yours. If there is a face of water fire, it is this one. The bare-chested man is Spaga, a fire dancer who mesmerizes the crowd like some Zen version of a rock star. Many of the players in this production are nearly invisible, but Spaga is its front man. All of the working boats at Waterfire are named for Greek gods. Appropriately, Spaga leads the procession on Prometheus, the titan who brought fire to mankind. The riverfront goes electric when he emerges from the darkness to light a wall of braziers. It is an exhausting athletic ritual. One Spaga will go on to perform a few more times throughout the night. We're always adding new experiences, new surprises. That's necessary for two groups of people. One is our residents and our supporters who live here. It's our responsibility to come up with new ways to do that. It's also a responsibility to showcase all the city has to offer. But that's also vitally necessary for me as an artist, for my crew as artists. Water fire spills over the riverbanks and fills downtown with vibrancy. The outdoor ballroom events turn the staid financial district into a festival. The water fire event is, is perfect. It's, it's perfect for our, for the scale of the city. Water fire reflects the renewed spirit of an old New England seaport, but the event does not belong solely to Providence anymore. It belongs to the world. Barnaby Evans installation has been named one of the top 20 must-see events in the United States and the fifth top nighttime experience on the planet. Today, water fire is considered the crown jewel of the Providence Renaissance. And the idea is inspiring others. So that, that phone call is we are now officially on for lighting water fire in the city of Rome. A mere eight days later, the premiere of Water Fire Roma, two historic lightings on successive nights in September of 2012. Evans and Mayor Tavares meet the mayor of Rome. Meanwhile, a small team of volunteers hits the ground running. Over the course of four days, they must clean up the Tiber River and assemble and install braziers crafted by a Venetian chandelier maker. When you see water fire so beloved in other places, you realize how much 
we're all the same around the world. How much we value friendship and comradeship and beauty and light and music and each other's company.